everyone, my name is Deflara Kopa you can call me Demi and welcome back to another video. As you can see on my shoulder right here, I've got a tattoo. Basically, um, for me yesterday, for you guys on Monday, I got a tattoo and it still does kind of hurt, but yeah, it, it's really awesome. Um, I was expecting it to be worse, the pain. And it, it, it was like less painful than I expected, which is good. And it's basically a red panda holding on to like um, the arrow bit of my zodiac sign. In case you don't know, my zodiac sign is Sagittarius. Um, and yeah, basically it kind of looks like Sagittarius zodiac sign. Like the red panda is basically like the cross, which is supposed to be here. I mean, one sec. That is basically zodiac, my zodiac sign. The way this looks. Yeah, I I just really love it. Uh, my sissy, she made it, not my actual sister, but a friend who is like a sister to me, she made the design and uh, I absolutely love it. But we are here today to react to the best of 2022 NASCAR onboard crashes. This was recommended in one of the videos, uh, in one of the previous videos that I did. I believe it was like uh, catch NASCAR catch fence crashes or something. It was another NASCAR video, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go into it. It's a long one. Why did I decide to pick this one? But yeah, let's get into this. But before we go, <laughs> please make sure to subscribe and also hit that bell. And um, one of my videos, one of my actual normal videos, non-shorts, is almost hitting 1,000 uh, 1, views and I really want to have it before like halfway through this year. So yeah, be sure to do that. But let's go. It wants to go. It doesn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there. Yep. Okay. So the yellow one at the start just spun. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Normally I'm like more talking, but there's more talking like the in there. Oh, he just spun. Did he get pit maneuvered? Uh, that's... Oh! Whoa. Okay. One of them just nearly got airborne. Oh! He did get airborne. Oh. He's... We... He's... He was swerving. He just got... Spun, spun across the finish line. <laughs> wow. Oh, and that guy's rolling. Oh, oh, whoa. He, he also got airborne. Sheesh. Oh yeah, these are the NASCAR trucks. Still can't see NASCAR. Oh, he just got pit maneuvered, I guess. Oh, I was really hoping he could have saved it <laughs> somehow. And at the front, there's y'all going. I've realized with NASCAR, as soon as one car starts to go, they all go. That That's like for real thing. As soon as one car goes, Everyone goes. Just look. One guy goes, and there they all go. It's the same, you never get this in Formula 1. Well, sometimes you get this in Formula 1. In MotoGP sometimes as well. I mean, I've seen it a couple of times, like Moto3, Moto2. Where the servers were slippery. Oh. Did he just lose it, or got... He got the... I think he lost it. No pit maneuver. Oh, got tagged. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that that's that's naughty. That was naughty. Oh, whoa, that that was a big one. That that was really big. And now we're blind. We cannot see. It's foggy. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna need some some cleaning. <laughs> oh he, he he got hit and then he got pushed into the wall and then this time it's just him that crashes. Okay, so not all the time it's that when one of them crashes, everyone goes. That's not always the case. Because right here we have another one of those cases. It's like about 99% of the NASCAR crashes. They are just when one guy goes to rest go. Here we have another example of, what, of when one goes to rest go too. It's like they don't want to feel lonely when they crash and just do it on purpose somehow. <laughs> Imagine that, they just don't want to crash alone. Oh, that's a bit manoeuvre. That failed. Oh. That's in the pit lane, ain't it? No. Pit lane is on the other side. Neat. Wait, this is a helmet cam! I never got to see the inside of a NASCAR car. That's awesome. Oh, he just got caught on the car. <laughs> oh, yep. He just took off completely that part of the chassis. Well, chassis, the, bo the covers. I don't know all the times here. <laughs> There we go. And yep, here we go. Another pile up. I wonder, would NASCAR go onto normal tracks? I don't think they would. I think they're only made for like ovals. Any Americans out there who know what the deal is? Like if if they can go onto like no uh, other tracks other, other than ovals. Does anyone know if that's possible? Because that would be awesome to like see one one race on like a normal track. I know that indie cars sometimes go onto um, non-ovals but like I'm not too sure about NASCAR. That's why I'm asking. Oh he just completely lost it. We could barely see anything, it was mostly white. Oh. Oh, sh that. Okay, that was a big crash then. If the camera does that, if the camera feed does that, then it's a big hit. I also like the, the view from the inside of the car. Because then you can like really see what the driver is doing. That was a, that was an actual pin maneuver, okay. Okay. We can definitely tell that they that these guys that the guys that put the cameras in, they know how to properly attach a a camera to a car. Without it falling off. Because I haven't seen one falling off yet. Which is good. <laughs> like I know in Formula 1. Like sometimes they just fall off. Oh. Oh that's disappointing. Bam. We got a good look into the exhaust there. Oh, 
Look, again. When one goes, more go. He's drifting. He's drifting! That's the bit lane there. That's what I saw. And we're back with the trucks! American Racing. Oh yeah, the best camera angle ever. From a driver. I love those camera angles. Wait. What's this thing here? Is this like, so they can view into the rear? Do, do, is that like some kind of rear view mirror? Any Americans who know this and watch NASCAR, please tell me in the comments, because I have no clue. <laughs> I legit, I, I think it might be like something so they don't have to keep their uh, eyes off the roads that much. You can tell that this driver had his hands like off the steering wheel most of the time. <laughs> oh yeah, we have onboard radio. I just realized after eight minutes. Oh, boink. Oh, that's big. And there's going to be fire there because I see sparks. And yeah. Oh, you just lost a tire. You can see by the amount of sparks. He's drifting. He's drifting. Don't hit him. Okay, we're all good. <laughs> oh, he lost it. Is it more difficult to race on a node for than it is on like normal tracks? What I need to know is that more difficult? Because, like, you need to have a perfect angle of steering, right? Yellow down here, yeah, of course, because you've spun. you spun, lad. Oh. That's... Another camera broken. <laughs> oh, no, wait, we're good. Oh my god, that damage. We're back with the trucks, he's gonna do a pit maneuver. But he pit maneuvered himself. And hits the wall. Good job. Oh, we get to look the driver straight into the eyes. I do know why they don't have, like, um, the glass at the driver's side. It's for a couple of reasons, uh, I think. But the main reason is so they can easily jump out in case of, like, emergency. And I don't think that they use actual glass. Okay, they do go on non-ovals. Okay, that wasn't such a big one. That wasn't such a big crash. I was expecting more from that. But that at least answers my question. If they go on o if they only go on ovals or not, they don't always go on ovals. So that's answered. <laughs> Wait, did that car just that car has some tape on? <laughs> that car had tape on the hood. Oh, they're gonna hit him. Okay, we're all good. <laughs> we're all good. Like, they don't actually have normal glass. Um, like, we they have on the car windows, like in the public cars, don't they? Because, like, that would be dangerous. I think they have, like, some kind of plexi uh, plexiglass, like plastic glass, which 
is actually stronger than double rubber. My boyfriend did explain that to me. It's like stronger than double rubber. Okay, this is some old footage. Considering the quality. That's some old... Some old NASCAR. In the rain, you're going to spun. Oh, and someone just hit you even more. One guy goes there. And another guy goes here. Okay, there's some good coaching here. Right? There's some really good coaching here from the, the engineer. It's like, hold the brake, hold the brake, hold the brake. That's really good. Oh, that's a nice safe. That's a good safe. Oh, some wheel spin. And he spun. He bend it. Nice, nice spin though. Nice 360. Oh, come on. That's unfortunate. That's just really unfortunate. One of those flaps are malfunctioning on the car. On the car. <laughs> oh. That's big. Oh, and we have flames. I really thought that was the M&M car. Or the McDonald's car. But it's the Shell car. Any of you guys remember from the first NASCAR reaction video I did, the McDonald's car, how many times it crashed. It was always a McDonald's car. Oh, that is another big one. Yeah. Oh, different camera points. Oof. That's unfortunate. Just a tiny little up tap. We've got the M&M car! It just spun! Is it able to get going? Yay! <laughs> oh, at the front is going off. Oh, please don't get hit. I think he did. Oh, he nearly went airborne. I think our driver was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Straight onto the grass. <laughs> They're gonna go out front. Here we go. That guy, like, was making some really good get marks on the track once again the monster car this one is like the monster energy car it's it's just crashing all the time here oh even with drifting you ain't gonna make that I'm sorry Like you were, you are able to get going again, which is good. Oh, that's a bit aggressive, ain't it? That tire screeching, though. Xfinity. One of your flaps is loose, mate. You're going too fast. You go to crash. <laughs> That's just pure chaos. Oh, 
it's just all pure chaos. And did he just get hit? Because I heard the sound of that. Here we go, chaos! <laughs> this guy's just chaos, man. That's awesome. Raising chaos is my favourite kind of chaos. And there's like too many cars for the track. Like in Formula 3, it's just pure chaos. And now it used to be in Formula 1. Pure chaos. Like about 30 drivers on the grid per race. Who did it's like more than 30, it's like 40, 50 maybe. Perhaps more than that. Yeah, just cutting some grass there. What's oh he just got karma. He just he just got instant karma. Also, I'm like really tired <laughs> from work. Oh, you just couldn't steer. Oh, I was ready to finish. Wait, that that's just come loose. That's not good. No one hit him. No one hit him. No one hit him. Well, good. Oh, and he just got hit. <laughs> no, he just got blocked. And the camera's dead. <laughs> no, it's not. It just got airborne, I think. Oh, I wish I've one had this kind of coaching. They do lose it really quickly, though. Yeah. They lose control so quickly. Oh, he just got sandwiched. He got... S he got turned. I love how oh, this guy's just like, I'm gonna cut some grass here. And he just got spun and... Yeah. Pure chaos! With the trucks again. No, Toyota ain't a truck. So I do think that this is the truck class of NASCAR, I don't know how you call it. I know there are like several kinds, you have NASCAR, you've got the trucks and you've got I Xfinity. I don't know if I'm correct or not, but like tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. He lost it. That guy's like, I'm gonna go through the pits. <laughs> See ya. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go again. He got out okay. Oh no. Oh. That really looked like it was sped up. Like for real. Looked like it was sped up. Got spun. Nice 360.
Oh god. Why is it always the monster energy car? <laughs> it's always him. Wait, I didn't... I, I thought they were on Spa from Kashan, but that's... That's not. NASCAR's American. It's Ohio. Mid-Ohio. <laughs> is this just a miniature... Mini oval that they're racing on? What the hell? <laughs> they're just racing on a mini oval. It's like Baby Park. Oh, he just... He got told to stay up. He should have listened. You spin me right round, baby, round, round. Like a rocket, baby, round, 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 round. I'm sorry, I, I had to make it. I had to do it. I have to do it at least once. In crash reaction videos. Oh. Here you go, spun. Hit the wall. And it's gonna continue. Towards down. Oh. Oh, and another bit of chaos. Oh, this is Xfinity again. Hit the wall. But he, it was like, I hit the wall, but I'm going to continue. Oh, no, wait, my steering is broken. We're back on the mini oval in Ohio. And he spun. Wait, that's an in-cam helm. For one of those as well, that's so cool. Okay, you can just hear chaos unfold in the background. Cutting some grass. Oh no. All right, he did it. In the pale lane. <laughs> oh. oh, that's... He hit the wall. <laughs> Wee. Oof. Let's just little luck tap. Oh, once again the Monster Energy car, powered by Ford. Been fighting a truck like that since it got off at practice. What? Okay. I went backwards for a little. <laughs> oh, come on. Just a little, little chap. <laughs> These guys must be some dirty drivers. I'm sure of it. Some of them must be like really dirty. Oh wait, I know this track. I know this track. There's Austin. That's Austin. I know this one. It's the only one I know in America. Because I watch MotoGP. <laughs> it's like the only actual track that stays. You know, not a non street circuit. Ah, oh, no. Around he goes. It's gonna hit the wall. There it is. Hit the wall. <laughs> it just bends. Stay out of the grass. Stay out of the grass. It's gonna go up again. And it's onto the grass. We're back in Austin. Oh, come on, man. 
like the last two corners. Come on. Yeah, you got wrecked. You're also sandbagging. Bam. There must be like some uncensored like radio in here because sometimes I'm hearing the hearing the F word and like uh, I was like what are those white things there but there the, the signs and the light was shining onto it. I'm so clever. It's evening guys. And you know how I am in the evenings when talking. My brain is just still in COVID-19 mode. That white car had seen better days. Had been tagged once. Oh, come on, please save it. Please save it. He saved it. So... Oh, he went in a bit too fast there. And tire barrier. I think those are probably one of the best inventions ever made. The tire barriers. Also, like Tech Pro barriers, they're like probably one of the best inventions. And this turn is like a hairpin. Let's look at it. It's like a hairpin. On the F1 game, I hate this turn. Also on the MotoGP game, even though I don't play that one anymore. I hate that turn. I hate Austin turn one. It's terrible. I'm back on Austin again. He's gonna spin. And he's gonna hit the wall. No, he's not. He's just gonna do a nice 360. Oh, no! He followed the instructions of his engineer, but crashes are so unpredictable. Really, does he have a fast car? Oh, <laughs> smoke in the cabin. Not good. Wee. He just did like two full 360s. The engineer just say why, why, why? Are they just on dirt course? Come on, this ain't, this ain't rally, this this ain't motocross, okay? This ain't NASCross. It's NASCAR. The race on tarmac. This guy is for all sponsored by Ford <laughs> and Bristol. Wait, Bristol? Bristol in UK? I don't know. Is there a Bristol in America? I honestly don't know. Okay, mate, that's just a bit corner cutting, even though you've lost spaces. That's a Ford Mustang. And he just spun you again. And that was it. Those were the NAS the biggest, the best of NASCAR onboard crashes. Well, guys, if you have any, um, like, if you have any, uh, you know, suggestions for other videos I can react to, please leave them down in the comments below. I do have uh, a list of like five more which I can react to. I just haven't gone around to it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit the like button and also consider subscribing. But that is it from me for now, and I shall see you guys in another video.